Stanford on film? Just what stands out when, when you're preparing for them? Physicality. Um, extremely physical team, really smart. Uh, they know what they're doing and they execute it well. So um, just have to prepare to be. <laughs> just have to prepare to uh, execute and be physical in this game. What have you seen from the corners in particular where it sounds like they're going to be down a couple of guys, but they still got a lot of, a lot of size in particular corner, but just what have you seen from their guys? A, a lot of size in their corners. Um, very fluid athletes. Um, they use their hands well. They play the ball in the air really well. Um, and we just got to be able to attack the ball and execute what we're doing. This team seems to be having a lot of fun right now, man. Has is, is that kind of been the experience here the last four weeks for you? I would say so. What's, mm -hmm. what's been the biggest thing just in terms of getting that chemistry together? I know we're kind of a few weeks removed from what last season sort of was in terms of being able to build it, but being able to hang out with each other off campus, being able to, you know, be in meeting rooms with each other. I'd imagine building this team through four weeks looks a lot different than it did through four mm -hmm. weeks of last year. Um, I would say just being around each other and being able to be around each other a lot more uh, was the biggest part. And... As you get around each other more, you get closer, and I feel like we're a family, so that's really big. What's something about Terrence Ferguson that gives you the confidence to go to him in the end zone uh, recently? The kid's talented. You watch him <laughs> on film in the games, uh, and he does it every day in practice. So um, he just he really does it well in practice, which translates to the games. Um, so that is where my confidence comes in with him. You've really been able to spread the ball around to a lot of different receivers this year. How nice is it for you to know that wherever you look on the field, you've got a really talented guy that's going to be catching the ball? It's a blessing, to say the least, honestly. So. How do you go about defining success or grading yourself, A.B., in terms of, like Joe mentions about, like the goal of 65% completion percentage? Mm -hmm. I don't know if three more completions would have necessarily radically changed you know, your weekend last weekend, but how do you evaluate when you're looking back at yourself if you're playing well or achieving what you want? Um, very critical on myself, but at this point, um, we're winning, and it's the only stat that really matters. Uh, worry about the other stuff later. So. Do you have a completion percentage in particular in your own head? Uh, I do. I'm not going to share it with you, but I do. <laughs> Higher or lower than Joe's 65? Higher. <laughs> so the looks like the deal with the old line that going to be a Monday tradition now? Taking out the guys? Absolutely. It was supposed to be earlier, but we had to work some things out. And, yeah.